Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at IP multicast. Specifically within multicast, we're going to be taking a look at the the multicast version called our implementation called Auto Rendezvous Point or Auto RP. We're going to take a look at its behavior. We're going to take a look at some of the problems that Auto RP has. Uh, design wise and then we're also going to be taking a look at how to fix that uh, those problems and what we're going to do is uh, like we we all should know by now if you see if you've seen my multicast lab one and two uh, multicast is going to be using our multicast traffic is going to be uh, basically uh, using the layer three routing protocol to ride over. So in this case what we're going to be doing is we're going to we're going to be using RIP version 2 as the interior gateway protocol between router 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, we're also going to have loopback 0 interfaces um, on all four routers. For router 1 going to be uh, 1.1.1.1 for router 4 it's going to be 4.4.4.4 and for router 3 loopback 0 is going to be 3.3.3.3 and then router 2 is going to be loopback 0 is going to be 2.2.2.2 so a couple of things about auto RP first off is that um, you, we can have multiple rendezvous points within the uh, auto RP um, implementation here. We can have, you know, in this case, what we'll do is we'll have router four. It will be advertising the groups. Um, 226.0.0 I'm sorry dot zero dot zero dot zero slash eight and then uh, uh, 228.0.0.0 slash eight and then uh, 230.0.0.0 slash eight so router four will be advertising these um, multicast networks and then router 3 we're going to have set up to advertise uh, 225.0.0.0 slash 8 227.0.0.0 slash 8 and 229.0.0.0 slash 8 so what you can do with auto RP is you can have uh, different routers advertising uh, you know uh, different um, multicast groups are advertising themselves as the candidate ARP rendezvous point for uh, certain multicast groups. And they will send out uh, announced messages using the multicast address of 224.0.1.39.